Hello and welcome to this video on how to obtain bias corrected bootstrap confidence intervals for the mediated effect in M+. Before I begin, I want to say a few words about this channel. On this channel, I present a video every week about statistical topics, often sometimes related to a structural equation modeling, confirmatory factor analysis or path analysis. And so if you're interested, please subscribe to this channel. Also hit the like button if you like this video and check out the description for additional resources, including free workshops and other resources. Also in the description, you will find links to previous videos that I made on testing mediated effects. Um, one video that I made previously was about how to print the indirect or mediated effect in the M plus software conveniently. And so this video here is so to say a follow up where I show a specific method um, for testing the indirect or mediated effect for significance that you can use in M plus by means of uh, bias corrected bootstrap confidence intervals. Here you can see a simple path model with an indirect effect. We have three variables. X is our exogenous variable. M is the mediator and Y is the dependent variable. And so oftentimes in a model like this, we are interested in testing the indirect effect. So first of all, we have a direct effect here from X to Y. That's the C prime path. And then also we have an indirect effect from X to Y that goes via the mediator M. And mathematically, this indirect effect here is quantified by the product of the two path coefficients a and b. And so this product um, a times b, the product of those two coefficients, is often used to quantify the mediated effect. And then often also we want to know, is this product statistically significant? Now, testing a product of two coefficients for significance is not as straightforward as it would be for a simple coefficient like the C prime path. And so one method that has been recommended for a proper statistical inference has been the so-called bias corrected bootstrap method by um, David McKinnon and his colleagues. They found out in a simulation study that that is a method that is very um, good, very reliable for figuring out whether this product of coefficients is statistically significant. So I want to show you how you can very easily get this bias corrected bootstrap confidence interval for the indirect effect in M+. If you haven't seen my other videos on the um, mediated effect yet in M+, then I uh, suggest that you check those out first. You find the links in the description. I also offer a free path analysis with M+, mini course. You also find the link in the description in which in that course I go into a a little bit more details as well. So let's go to M plus and let's see how we can uh, obtain this bias corrected bootstrap confidence interval. You can see here it's this exact example with the three variables X, M and Y. In the model statement we set up the path model simultaneously the regression of Y on X and M and the regression of M on X. And so in addition you can see that I have the model indirect command here again. Again, this was explained in a previous video, so check that out as well if you're not familiar with this model indirect command yet. In short, this model indirect command just simply allows us to print all the indirect effects that we are interested in so that we don't have to calculate them by hand because otherwise you would have to calculate the product A times B and maybe other products if you had more mediator variables by hand. And so in order to get this in a convenient way, we can use this model indirect command that here says, please print all the indirect effects from X to Y. And so how do we get the bootstrap confidence intervals now? We get those by um, specifying the number of desired bootstrap samples, or the number of bootstrap samples that we would like to run. In this case, I chose 1000. Now this is arbitrary and there might be reasons to choose more or fewer. And with modern computers, uh, you could run a lot more and it would still be uh, very fast. So that's just as an example here. And then in addition, we add this key keyword C interval in the output command in M plus C interval in general makes M plus um, compute confidence intervals. So if you say nothing else, it'll just give you confidence intervals based on regular asymptotic standard errors. But 
since I put this additional keyword here BC bootstrap in parentheses what M plus will do is it'll run this bias corrected bootstrap method and then the confidence intervals will be based on that bias corrected bootstrap. Now if you want to know more about um, what this is about I'm going to discuss this in detail here check out the work by David McKinnon and colleagues you find the paper in the description for this video the reference and so you can check that out and so Let's take a look at what M plus gives us when we run this um, input file like this. You can see it's very fast at 1000 bootstrap samples. You could see briefly how they were running through and it doesn't take very much time. Now let's scroll down to our model results. Here you get the usual um, model results in M+, the point estimates with their standard errors and um, the tests of significance, and then the standardized model results since I also requested the STDYX, completely standardized solution. And then below that, since we included the model indirect command, we get a detailed listing of the total, total indirect, specific indirect, and direct effects, again with their standard errors and values and I discussed that in detail in a previous video. Now in this video I want to focus on the confidence intervals which are given further below and so here you can see that um, first of all you obtain confidence intervals for all the direct paths so for the A, B and C prime paths um, which are given here and so that's maybe also of interest but here we now want to focus on the indirect or mediated effect and so um, it's a little confusing because there's a lot of output here, so you have to scroll further down. Next are the uh, confidence intervals for the standardized A, B, and C prime paths, and then after that you get the confidence intervals for the total, total indirect, specific indirect, and direct effects here. So pay attention to um, closely what you get because it's a little confusing. You can see what we're really interested in now is the specific indirect effect here from X to Y via M and you find the point estimate here in the middle. So that is the indirect effect negative 0.085 in our case. You also get that uh, further uh, at the top of the output where you get the indirect effects. And so now, in addition to getting the point estimate for that, we also get the 90% confidence interval or the limits for 90% confidence interval, which you can uh, determine when you look at lower 5% and upper 5%. So be careful because it could be confusing. You could think that this is maybe the 95% confidence interval, but it's not because here we're looking at 5% lower and 5% upper. So in total, we're looking at a 90% confidence interval for these numbers and so for a 90% confidence interval you can see that the lower limit is negative 0.096, the upper limit is negative 0.074, so that does not include zero which means that at the 10% significance level it would be significant. Now usually we don't use a 10% significance level that's less common than say a 5% confidence interval or sorry a 5% significance level which corresponds to a 95% confidence interval and so the limits for the 95% confidence interval which is more popular more commonly used those are given here under lower 2.5% and upper 2.5% so in the middle so to say and so here the lower limit is negative 0.098 and the upper limit is negative 0.072 and again this does not include zero which means that also the 95 percent confidence interval or also the five percent alpha level significance test is significant so in other words the indirect effect is significant at the 0.05 level also according to this test. And then finally M plus will also give you a 1% significance test so to say by also providing the 99% um, confidence interval and that's given under lower 0.5% and upper 0.5% so half a percent on each side 
And so then you end up with a 99% confidence interval. And you can see that here the lower level is negative 0.101 and then the upper uh, limit is negative 0.066. Again, this does not include zero. So the par parameter estimate, the estimate of the indirect effect is also significant at the 1% significance level in this example. In addition, you get the same thing also for the standardized um, uh, total effect, total indirect and specific indirect effect below. So you can also look at that if that's of interest to you. And then you can figure out, is my um, indirect effect significant? It is significant if the relevant confidence interval for your level of alpha does not include zero, which was the case here in this example. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then please um, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel. Again, check out the description for additional videos and I'll see you next time.